Hold up, we're on love. Guys, happy new year to you all. Um, I haven't shown my face since Christmas, have I? Hope you had a good one. Um, all the best and good health for 2019, as you do. Um, so today, got a bit of time off from work today, so I thought, get a brew day done today. Um, got some hops that need using up and coming to the end of some of the, the green as well. Um, I've had for quite a while now, so we'll just knock it together a pale ale. Um, basic pale ale recipe, Maris Otter, and got a touch of crystal in there, a nice drop of honey malt, and a bit of carapils. So, um, it's actually been mashing for an hour and a half. Yeah, hour and a half, started it around about half eleven, just gone. Um, been out to get some yeast, drop a USO5, a bit of shopping as well. So, it's literally just draining now. Um, I'll run for a quick sparge with it in a minute as well. Bring it up to boil, and then we'll chuck some hops in as you do. Now the hops of choice, I've got some Comet. Um, probably gonna use it for bittering, and maybe towards the end as well. A bit of the flavor aromas going off. Never really used it before, but um, I've had a beer with it in. But these are leaf hops, they're full leaf hops. There's no, there's no pellets going off here. Um, but I've actually gone from Brew UK back last year, you know when they do like a lucky dip bag. So we ended up getting some Comet and also they chucked in some Peco in it. Um, floral, fruity and herbal, 15.5% alpha acids there. So that I think is just going to be 80 degree hop stand for like half an hour, 45 minutes and give it a good dry hop with that as well. But I think we should get a nice pale ale at the end of it. And like I say, it's going to get fermented out with USO5. My fermentation fridge has actually got an IPA in at the moment. Um, so I can't really take that out. So I'm going to have to wing this best I can. Get in a fermentation bucket and then bang a quilt around it or something. Leave it next to a radiator or in the air in cover. And all being well. We'll see what cares there. Um, you remember me doing the rye ESB just before Christmas? I said I'd do a Christmas taster, but I never did. That is it. Bloody clear, isn't it, that? Um, and I'm quicker going to open this now because I bottled it up using the carbonation caps. You got one? I brew it, it says on here. I um, think of eBay. But they're very generic. They do them everywhere. Malt mill selling around about £11. I think I'll pay around about £11 for that with delivery, so we'll see what it's all about. I'm yet to open a beer from, you know, using that cap. So I bottled eight of these up um, last week, and there's a few going to go out in beer mails. Maybe, and the next week, I'm not too sure, I would like to throw some of this pale ale in as well, along with the IPA. So quickly open it, and then we'll come to the video on that. So a nice little bit of a hiss. We have got smoke. Because before, I've always bottled off my keg straight from the pipe, basically, from the tap. And, you know, the carbonation, if I'm honest, it, it don't play around a hell of a lot. Right, so there's a bit there. And I can certainly hear it. And you can see some carbonation going off, especially sticking to the side of the glass. But for a rye ESB... Got a great colour there. Rye, ESB, white ask. Love a good drop of ESB. I was quite light on the chocolate malt this time, as you can probably tell. But I wanted to put a good drop of rye in because it needed using up. And I do like rye malt. It's a lovely classic bitter, don't get me wrong. 5.3% it come out at. But the rye malt certainly. Makes it bloody dry, very dry. Um, but I will send some out and then you can see for yourself. But certainly, winner, would I do it again? I would do it again, but maybe go a bit less on the right amount this time because my mouth now is just like, you know, sucking all up. It's proper dry and um, it's got a good spicy finish to it. Anyway, cheers. So, 
Thursday today, guys. A bit late for homebrew Wednesday. Um, but we'll put this little video together now of brew day. Um, I'll quickly tag it on the end. Um, we'll give you an update maybe a couple of weeks' time. Probably even draw one off the keg if it lasts, you know, a long time. Who knows? Started a year, though, as well, on update. I also did my first ever Russian Imperial Stout last week. That went in the keg um, yesterday. I've never ever done a Russian Imperial Stout, as you know. But my plan for that is just to basically save it all year. Um, put it into bottles via that. Let it age all year and drink them. Christmas 2019. And some of them will be going out as well. Cheers, guys. Enjoy. Catch up with you on the next one.